In this screencast I'll show you how to calculate fugacity coefficients using the Peng Robinson equation of state. So first of all the equation for calculating fugacity coefficient is shown here. So it's quite a long equation with lots of different terms in it. And the terms are defined down here. So we've got phi k as the fugacity coefficient for component k. We've got compressibility factor, we've got the peng robinson attraction parameter, we've got uh, the peng robinson the cross-attraction parameter for components i and k, the peng robinson co-volume, uh, the peng robinson co-volume for component b, uh, so various things for the mixture. and So we, we need to use all of these different parameters. We've also got capital A and capital B, which we've seen in a previous video. Now, in terms of why you'd want to use fugacity coefficient, it can be useful in determining vapor-liquid equilibrium and also things like if you've got an equilibrium constant for ideal gas behavior in a reaction, you can use these fugacity coefficients to work out the value for non-ideal behavior for real gas. So if we show the implementation of this, I've got an example that I've used in a previous video for uh, peng robinson Mix, mixing rules so take take a look at that video if you want to refresh yourself so we've got three components methane ethane propane we've got a mole fraction for each of these which I've selected a pressure and temperature which I've selected for this example we've then got the critical temperature and pressure for each component and that allows us to work out the co-volume we've got the eccentric factor which allows us to work out a kappa value and then from those we can work out the attraction parameter for each individual component. Now in terms of working out the parameters for the mixture, all of these steps here involving these different values have been shown in a previous video for the mixing rules. The new bit is here, xi times aik, and so this is the mole fraction going down this way and then I've multiplied that by each of the values determined in this table and then we can take the sum of these and these were really needed for calculating the fugacity co coefficient for each component. So if we come across, Z has been determined, so we've got a liquid phase uh, root for Z and a vapor phase root. Now if we want to determine the fugacity coefficient for component one in the liquid phase, we need to implement that big equation that we saw earlier on. So it's dependent on things like the the mixture parameters for A and B for the Peng Robinson uh, equation of state using the mixing rules. We've also got capital A and B and we've also got this summation term here. We can put all of that in and we can get the fugacity coefficient for component 1. For component 2, very similar, but now we are using uh, the summation here for AI2, and same for component 3, we have to move across a little bit and use that value. We can do the same for the liquid phase. The, thing, the main thing that's changed here is the Z value is the liquid phase Z value. So overall, that is how we can use uh, the Peng Robinson equation of state to determine fugacity coefficients for different components in a mixture.